Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Wyoming Blessed with Tish and if you haven't done so already please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when a new video is uploaded. Make sure you leave a comment below if you want to be entered into the 1,000 uh, 1, subscriber giveaway. Y'all today we have wings and this is from a truck that like travels all over Wyoming called a uh, um, wing it food truck and we have the parmesan garlic the mango habanero and then over here are their uh, special fries and I think it has the parmesan garlic and the mango habanero on it up here we have some blue cheese and some ranch Y'all can't see it, but that's what it is. Let's try that blue cheese. Mmm. That's definitely blue cheesy. I love blue cheese. And to drink, we have a diet squirt. And some water. So, I'm going to try these fries first. Mmm. Those are pretty good. They've been here a couple times and I've never tried them. <clears throat> Ooh, that mango habanero's got a kick. And I... I was like, I want to try them today. For y'all. Y'all, they opened at 11. I got there at like 10.50 and they were already open. Y'all, they were slammed by 11 10. <coughs> Excuse me. And I mean slammed. I wonder if this is homemade ranch. Oh, I don't really taste anything. Mm, tastes a little bit, but not a lot. Probably because that was really strong. Y'all know I like the flats. <clears throat> so, you'll see that. Mm. Y'all, I have to get something on my shirt faithfully every time, right? Mmm. That's really good. Mm-hmm. It's really good. So I hope you all had a good weekend. And you all are safe. And doing well. Y'all know I don't eat the cartilage. Mm -mm. That's not happening. <laughs> mm -mm. Sorry about that all, y'all. My alarm went off. Anyways, this video may not be super long. My stomach's not doing the greatest today, but this was the only day they were here, so. Mmm. 
Mm-hmm. Those are really good. And it's got a kick. That's for sure. And dip that in some blue cheese. See that? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make some of my my special wings too one of these days. Mine are apricot chipotle. It's so good. Those are good. I like that blue cheese. Well, I think I've come up with it Wednesdays. We'll do the paranormal stories then Fridays we'll do like trivia or something you know whatever and then Sundays will be a get to know me a little more type video mmm so today Sunday we're gonna do a get to know me type of video and today we're going to talk about my child, some childhood things. This Parmesan garlic one is salty and really strong. So I don't think it needs sauces at all. It's perfect just the way it is. It's really good mixed with that mango hub now. It's a rich sauce. But so growing up, I grew up born and raised in Wyoming, of course. Been here my whole life. We camped a lot. And good old fashioned camping. One year, we were camping. I don't remember how old I was, but we had our own special like camping spots. And we owned horses. And my dad and my uncle Tom, who sadly passed away. Mm. Decided to go on, I don't know if they were hunting or fishing or what they were doing, but they were doing one of the two. And so they had the horses and our mule, Jake, who was our pack mule. And all of us stayed at the campground. And they rode the horses to where they were going. 
and I was across the river playing with my Barbies. I always played with my Barbies in like this little beach sand area. Because you could just walk across the river in certain spots. Of course, my mother washed me. And I remember my brother was over there with me too. And my cousin. And they're six years older than me. And we were all over there playing. And we hear this like growling noise. You know, it's like. Oh, uh -huh. being from Wyoming, our first thought is bear. And we could see this brown figure from afar. So my brother says, bear. So we all cross that river without even touching that river. And we're hauling. And we're screaming at my mom. Bear, bear. And she looks and all she can see is this brown figure too. And she thinks, oh my god, it is the bear. And so we all go and we're hiding in the camper, right? Of course we had guns, always. But my mother didn't know really how to use them. But my brother did. And <laughs> so we're all hiding. And we're scared. We're so scared. And freaking out, you know. And here pretty soon we hear laughing. And we're like, what in the world? Um I can't put door on, please. And there's my dad and my uncle and the rest of them and they're just laughing y'all and we're thinking what are you laughing about and my mom's like there's that bear out there get in here my dad's laughing he's like there's no bear out here coming to find out y'all it was the butt, butt end of the horse his name was Barney <laughs> that they had placed us right to look like a bear. And they were sitting across the river making bear noises to scare us. And thought it was hilarious. You know, I'll never forget that. I was so scared. And you all can say, oh, that's mean and you're dead. Y'all, yeah, it's funny. That's funny. Even my mom thinks it's funny. I think it's funny. We're just having some good old fun. And my mom couldn't believe that. You know. Raised with horses. Me. And my brother and we're both sitting there like cannot believe that we didn't realize that was the horses behind. But when you're scared like that, you don't like pay attention to things clearly. You know, I'm talking about embarrassed too. Cause it was like, oh my god, we ran from a horses behind. <laughs> <laughs> I got so many more uh, fun camping stories for y'all. But that's one of them. A lot of them in that spot alone. You know, nobody has a perfect childhood. <laughs> but I don't think I would change my much. I mean, 
I wish my dad would have drank a lot less, but it happens, y'all. Can't blame your parents for who you become, because as an adult, you're responsible for it yourself. You know, you make your own choices. I have family that are recovered alcoholics, drug addicts, you name it. And I'm sugarcoating my childhood, y'all. Some things are better left unsaid. And sometimes you usually have to move on. But y'all, this is so cool that they give you these little moist towelettes to clean up with, which is good because I got the mango habanero sauce all over my arm. I don't think I got it on my shirt, but yes, y'all, I have to move them because I can't see. It happens. So anyways, y'all, I'll see you again on Wednesday. Excuse me. For a, another ghost story. I've got a lot of good ones, y'all. Wyoming has a lot of history. A lot of old places. A lot of paranormal activity. So, I'm full. And I ate almost all of those. So, anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic week. I hope that y'all stay healthy right now. And stay safe. As we always end it. Stay warm and stay safe, y'all. Bye.